Hi everyone. So gate examination is over. Now your responses are also out, and you would have looked at your responses. You would have put the responses in the rank predictor as well. Now you would be having the idea that how much marks you would be getting, and based on the marks, I have already made a video that what would be your expected rank and expected score. So that also you would have seen. Now you would have a clear idea that what you can get out of this attempt. Now the question would be coming into your mind that sir, I might not be performing that well in this particular attempt. So should I take a drop? So should you consider taking a drop? So I will consider all the queries that you might be having regarding taking a drop or not. Okay. So the first one would be that sir, will it affect in the placements? If I take a drop, will it affect in the M Tech MS placement? So the simple answer is no. Your drop wouldn't matter in the placements. No company would be coming and they will be looking at your CV and feel like that. Okay, he is having a drop of two years, so I will not consider him. No. 95% of the companies will not look at it. There might be one or two companies who would be looking at your drop and might be considering that you are not fit for them. But 95% of the companies will never look at it. They just look at your technical knowledge. So whatever the company is expecting from your side, if you have that knowledge, they will certainly take you. No matter whether you are 23 years old or you are 25 year old or you are 30 year old or you are 35 year old. They do not consider these kind of things. Okay. So the first point that whether your drop will affect in placements or not, so that is clear, it will not affect at all. Even if some guy is saying that uh, your drop may affect your placements, then he is simply telling a lie. Okay, let's take uh, more points. Yeah, so the second point and the most important point is your financial condition. So the question would be coming, will you be financially afford taking a drop? So that I cannot tell you, right? Because I don't know your financial condition. There might be a pressure from your family side that your family would be saying that you need to give, you need to get some job now. You need to start working and you need to get some money out of it. There might be this pressure on you, on you. And there would be some guys who is having no pressure, who have enough window and they can afford a drop. So financially, will you be able to afford a drop? So that is the question that should be answered by you yourself. If you feel like that, sir, financially, I cannot afford it. Then you can go for masters with whatever the score you are having. If you are able to clear the cutoff, then at least you will be getting some NITs. So you can go to some NITs and there you can start uh, studying for your masters. Okay. The third point that would be, are you dedicated enough? So this is the question you need to ask. If you have clicked on the first two boxes that, sir, yes, I can financially afford it as well. And uh, there would be no, there would be no back point in the placements as well. So if you have clicked on first two boxes, then the third question you need to ask, are you dedicated enough? Will you be able to sit for at least six to seven hours every day consistently? And will you be able to study? So that question you need to ask that, am I dedicated enough? Will I get something out of this one year? Because you are going to invest one more year in the preparation. So are you dedicated enough? Are you dedicated enough to start right from the beginning? Everything that you have studied, start right from the scratch and cover the subjects in a good manner. Are you that much dedicated enough? If you feel like that, sir, yes, I am dedicated enough. Financially, I can afford it. I can have my mental stability for the next one year. Then certainly you can draw for, go for that drop. Otherwise, you need to consider other factors as well. If you are not able to afford financially, then you need to go for the masters. If you are not, uh, if you feel like that, sir, I am not dedicated enough. I am not sure whether I will be giving the full attempt for one year. I may, I may end up uh, giving up uh, in between. Then there, there might be some issue for you. So dedication is also very, very, very important for you. So these are the points which you need to consider before taking a drop. Now, according to marks, uh, what I would say, should you take the drop or not? So if you are getting above 50 marks in electrical and EC, both I am telling, if you are getting above 50 marks, then no matter how much rank you would want, please don't consider taking a drop. Let's just say there is some guy who is getting 50 marks. Uh, in 50 marks, uh, he would be getting a score around 650. This is my assumption. Okay. Roughly around the score would be around 650 only in 50 marks in both uh, EC and electrical. The score of electrical guys would be a bit higher. So there you can see that particular video of uh, uh, marks versus rank and uh, expected score. That video you, you can see there I have told about the expected score as well. So there would be some guys who is getting 50 marks and his rank would be roughly around 500 to 600. Now he might feel like that, sir, I deserve a rank under 100 or I deserve a rank under 10 as well. So, sir, I will take a drop. So don't uh, take this kind of decision. Okay. If you take a drop and come to my course, it would be my benefit only. But again, I'm saying don't take this kind of decision. If you are having a score above 650, you will be getting very good opportunities for masters in IITs and you can go for it. For PSUs as well, you will be getting a very good opportunities if your rank is, if your rank is around 500 to 600 or 700 as well. 
सो डोंट टेक ड्रॉप जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ रैंक ओके डोंट हैव दैट थ्रस्ट इफ यू गो फॉर द सेक ऑफ रैंक इन जेई देन ऑल्सो इट इज अंडरस्टैंडेबल बट इफ यू गो फॉर जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ रैंक इफ यू गो इन द एग्जामिनेशन लाइक गेट और आई आई टी जैम और दिस काइंड ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन देन इट इज नॉट वर्थ इट ओके फॉर मी रैंक टेन गाय एंड रैंक फाइव हंड्रेड गाय बोथ आर इक्वल एंड इवन फॉर द प्रोफेसर ऑफ आई बोथ आर इक्वल इट जस्ट दैट हाउ यू डू योर मास्टर्स सो दैट वन ईयर ऑफ एफर्ट दैट यू आर थिंकिंग टू टेक दैट यू आर थिंकिंग टू पुट इन द ड्रोप बेटर पुट दैट एफर्ट फॉर योर मास्टर्स बिकॉज दैट विल हेल्प यू दैट विल इवेंचुअली हेल्प यू right your gate examination rank my will just be on paper whatever you do in masters whatever the efforts you put in masters how much you get out of the master how much you get the how much you get out of the professor that you are going to have in your masters that is what matters to you okay so i would recommend if you are having gate score above 600 650 for ec and electrical don't even consider taking a drop now i am not saying that if you are having a marks less than 50 or if you are having a score less than 650 then you cannot good then you cannot go, get anything good out of it certainly you can get there has been guys who are having score roughly around 500 and they have done pretty well in the ms and mtech interviews of iits okay so you can certainly get something out of it that we can discuss in some other videos that at lower gate score what all opportunities you are having where you can go how many interviews you can give which nit you can prefer which specialization you can prefer which ms you can go for which masters you can go for all these things we can discuss in some separate video and certainly we will be bringing some content regarding that but in this video what i am saying is that if you are having a score above 650 then don't even think i don't even think of taking a drop no matter you are having any thrust for the rank or no matter any rank you wanted to get but you are not getting that desired rank don't take drop rest it's your it's your decision that even if uh, for rank above 500 if you want to take a drop or you want to go for a specific domain in a specific college and you feel like that i will not be getting that particular domain in that particular college then you can go for drop otherwise i would recommend not to take any kind of drop okay and if you take a drop and come to my organization come to study from me then also i will not have any issue regarding that okay and below 50 marks as well there are good enough opportunities for a lot of people and in a lot of organization so don't feel like that if i am having below 50 marks or if i am having below 650 score then i will not be getting anything good no it's not like that you will be certainly getting very good things out of this particular attempt just you need to wait just as the result comes we will upload a lot of video regarding the opportunities what all specialization you can opt for and uh, what all organization you can go for or what all institute you can go for so i hope you would have understood the conclusion of this particular video the conclusion is that whether you should take a drop or not it depends on you first question you need to ask will i be dedicated enough yes if you are dedicated enough then you can consider taking a drop and second question would be am i able to afford it financially so yes if you are able to afford it financially then also you can go for it okay so yeah that's what, that's it that's it about this video and and certainly your drop will not affect in your mtech placements yeah okay so if you are having any other query then you can certainly ask me in the comment section i will not be expecting the questions like sir i am getting this much marks what rank i can expect please don't ask me these kind of questions because for that i have already made a video go and check out that video and you would see okay and uh, regarding the opportunities as well in our telegram group we have shared a excel sheet where all the cutoffs are there for iits masters so where their cutoff score is also mentioned with which kind of specialization one guy was getting that is also mentioned there okay so you can go into the telegram group and check that excel sheet thank you very much